Good morning and welcome to Odoo Live. My name is Noel, community manager here at Odoo San Francisco. Uh, co uh, joining me today, we have Elizabeth, uh, one of our partnership executives to talk about the Odoo search bar and finding what you seek in Odoo. Welcome, Elizabeth. Thank you, Noel. Um, thank you. I'm happy to be here and any questions you guys may have. I'm more than happy to answer them, but I'm ready to jump in when you are. Great. Yeah, as always, uh, please leave your questions in the chat. We'll get to them at the end. Uh, and uh, don't forget to vote. Take it away, Elizabeth. <laughs> Thank you. So uh, just like Noel mentioned, I will be going over the Odoo search bar. Uh, one thing that I do want to share with you guys is my email, esa at odoo.com. Uh, please feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions or, you know, if there's anything uh, that I can help out with or the Partnership and Alliances team as well. So uh, I can help out with that as well. Uh, a little bit about what I'll be going over today. Uh, we'll do what a fast search is, advanced search. I'll also jump in and do a little bit of default search and set up a couple of favorite search. Um, and we will wrap it up with setting up a search menu using Studio. And again, end it with a bit of a Q&A. Great. So let's go ahead and jump in. I'm going to end it here so you can see. So this is what our typical dashboard looks like. And not so typical because this has a lot of applications. Um, but for this demonstration, I will be using the demo database just because it has a lot of dummy data. And I'm able to use the filters a lot uh, more efficiently. I will be having admin access, which means that I have access to do any type of modifications. Yes, uh, but over on the settings tab, you can always manage your users so that you can restrict certain accesses to um, certain employees, right? Uh, currently, we have 39 apps uh, installed. And like I said, this will vary depending on your you know, on, on the use of applications that you guys have. You can always add more apps here on our app store, right? But the search can start just from the dashboard. Um, and I know you don't see a search bar, but I promise you as soon as you start typing, for example, if I start doing sales team, you can see that right away, um, any of the options in the menus of each module will pop up. So I can do CRM configuration sales team and it will take me to where all of that is. And pretty much what we're seeing is these options here, sales, uh, reporting, I can search pipeline activities, configuration, and this is where we ended up. So let's say that for this um, purpose, I am in sales, right? And the first thing that I wanna do is jump in right to my pipeline. I can search my pipeline and it should take me straight to my pipeline. Uh, so we'll start here. This is what we call the Kanban view. Um, and this is where we have all of the different stages. I will be mostly on view list just because I enjoy or, or I can see this, um, the filters a lot better. Uh, one of the things that we have here as options is the filters. So for the filters, if they are in the same group, that means uh, or. So it could be my pipeline or unassigned. And you can see that right away it, it shows it. If it is separated by a bar, then that means that it will be and. So it would be my pipeline and one activities, for example, or my pipeline and one or lost activities, right? And so this is kind of a little bit of how um, this works. We can do custom filters as well. Um, we can do, for example, let's say uh, I want to come in every day and I want to see all of my late activities and all of the activities that I have going on today. So these are activities that are late, which are in red, and all of the current activities. But something that I see here on this list is that I have an activity due today that is under the stage one. And I don't want to have any activities that are already in one because I, I shouldn't have to follow them or maybe, you know, they're passed on to another team. So what I can do is that I can filter it by all of these options here, which are in each one of the opportunities. And I can go over to stage and say does not contain or doesn't contain one. So let's go ahead and apply that. And I can see here that these are the activities that I have going on today. 
And these are the activities that I also have overdue. It looks like an easy breezy day. I just have three activities, right? Um, and I don't want to be doing these filters every day that I come in. So let's go ahead and go to favorites and we'll save the search and we can do, uh, let's say today's activities. And I can either use this as my default or I can share it with all users. So I want this to be as my default. So let's go ahead and save that. And I want to show you what that does. So if I go back to my dashboard and I go to my pipeline, I select it. And what you should see is that now my default is today's activities. And I love that because I am able to just jump in and start working on my activities that I have to do today. Now, let's say I'm working on my pipeline and I also want to see all of the activities that perhaps uh, have been just assigned to me and they don't have a next activity. So these are new leads that I want to make sure that I follow up with. So one thing or one of the filters that I can use is, for example, add custom filter. And I can say, hmm, one of the, th um, the things that new activities won't have is that new activity uh, deadline, it is not set. So I can see here that I have two activities and these are new activities that are not set. So again, I can set up a save search and I can say these are new uh, money, right? And I will put this so that I can share with all the different users and I can easily go to it because I don't want to set it as my default. So I have here under favorites, I have today's activities, I have my pipeline, I have news, and I can easily go to each and every one of them, right? Um, uh, another filter that perhaps I, I would like to show you is let's say as a manager, you want to see how many opportunities uh, you've received this month. You can go on um, anything like created on is between, let's say the 1st of November, and I could put the 6th, uh, but I'll put the 7th, just because as you can see here on the left, the time varies. Well, uh, it's actually all the same, but let's go ahead and put the 7th so that all of, uh, let's see here, first, and then select the second one, and then we'll do the 7th, right? And I did not press apply. So first, 7th, apply. Perfect. So again, these are all uh, the activities. And let's say I want to group by salesperson. So I can see that this month, Mark got seven and Mitchell got 10. And I can see it in more details, right? But I can also keep grouping by uh, stage. I want to see what stage they're each in. And you'll see how they're filtered even more depending on the stage that they're in. So these are um, how you can play with the filters, how you can also group. Um, it definitely narrows it down. Um, let's see, something else that I definitely like. Let's say uh, your marketing team sends out a campaign and anybody that responds to that cam uh, campaign, uh, the tag that's added to it is design, right? And I'm gonna go ahead and add this to just a couple of them so that I'm able to show it, right? I can go ahead and save this, go back to my pipeline, filter, and I want to look at the tags that contain design. So I can just put DES, apply, and all the tags that have design will be here. I can select them, I can send an action to send an email, or so on, um, but that's pretty much how um, these guys work up here, right? You have the filters, the groups, and the favorites. One thing that I do want to show um, is our auto completion, but I'll go ahead and sh show that under our sales orders, um, just because we have more information and I, it's easier to see. So under our sales orders, we have 27. Um, Odoo can go up to, it, the default is one through 80, but you can always modify this so that it's one through 100 or one through 15, and you change it to two pages, right? Um, so you can definitely modify this here. Uh, one thing that I, let's go ahead and change it back to one through 27. So one through 27, 
Uh, this search bar here, the auto completion, I absolutely love it because I can start typing, like for example, G, and all of these options will come up where pretty much I can search the cell order that contains G, customer, salesperson, and so on. Uh, but what's neat is that I can select this little arrow here and it will go into even, it will filter it even more and where I can do either Gemini Furniture or I can do Edwin, all of the um, sell orders that have been sent to Edwin within Gemini Furniture, right? Um, and so it's just different. Let's say I, I select Gemini Furniture. I can easily select it and print them or select it and do an action here. Um, what's different about this is that if I weren't to have that and I would just group by customer, for example, I would have all of the customers. But if I want to definitely narrow it down, I can do it here on the auto completion, which I love to do that. Under here. Perfect. So we've gone over with the filters, with the groups and the favorites, the auto completion. Now I want to show you how you can set up your menus, right? Um, sorry, let me go back to CRM how you can set up your menus um, to have the options that you like using Studio. So let's go ahead and jump into Studio. And we'll go under Views. And the option that we want to select is Search. Great. So here uh, with the filters, remember how I mentioned before, if they're within the same group, it will be OR. And if they're set separated by these lines, it will be AND. So let's go ahead and add a new filter. When it comes, uh, let's go ahead and add here. And let's label this tag, because that's a filter that we did earlier. So I just want to keep make sure that I do that again. Let's go ahead. I want to filter by tags. Let's drop down to tags. And I can narrow this down. I can do tags contains, you know, how we did earlier design. But I'm, I'm not going to do that. I just want to, you know, filter it by tags. So I'll go ahead and save this, right? And I put it uh, under one and lost, but I want to separate it. I don't want it to be or. I just want it to be by itself. So this is one way how you can uh, manage your filter menu. For group by, I can add and easily just drag and drop. Uh, I want to show you. So for group by, I cannot put a filter. Um, it, I just can only do that under the filters. So uh, I can do is easily drag and drop. So I want to do, let's see here. Yep, created on um, X day, right? So I'll just go ahead and, and add it. Um, for the auto completion, again, you can select these. Um, let's say you don't want to have country and you just want to remove it. Let's go ahead and remove it. But you can always easily drop. Um, added by just dragging and dropping. So the only one that you have to go a little bit more into detail is the filters where you have to use this one, just because it can go more into detail. And so we can save it, right? And you'll see in the menu now that I have tag. You can see under group that I have um, creation date, and I can filter them by day, week, month, quarter, year, and the auto completion, the country, if I were to look up you know, any country, it'll filter it by Belgium. Um, but that's a, a kind of brief um, overview on all of the uh, activities and how you can search with uh, Odoo. So just filters or separated by a bar is and. You can group by and, and modify this. Uh, do a little bit of um, favorites uh, and, and customize it to your own salesperson. Um, you can modify and see how many you want to see at a time. And especially if it's over 80, you can definitely change that. And you can use Studio to personalize this very, very easily. Let me know if you have any questions. Feel free to, um, to follow up after as well uh, and share my email. Great. Yeah. Thank you, Elizabeth. That was a terrific uh, uh, presentation. Uh, as always, yes, as Elizabeth mentioned, if you have any lingering questions that we couldn't answer today, you can send us an email to webinars at odoo.com. Or if you want to get in touch with Liz, uh, sorry, Elizabeth directly. Uh, Elizabeth, what is your email address? It's ESA at odoo.com. Great. Uh, so as always, don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel so we can continue making these videos for you all. 
Uh, let's see, Elizabeth, is there anything else you'd like to add? Uh, nope, that is all. Have a great day, and uh, we'll see you next webinar. All right, don't forget to vote. Uh, <laughs> yes. We'll see you all next time. Thank you.